Hi, in this video, I'll show a trick of using your hand, either left or right is up to you, to remember the exact values of trig functions of special angles. Here are the special angles on the XY plane. In numerical order from bottom to top, 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. What you want to do is put your hand out, palm facing you, to look like this diagram. You can use your left hand like this, or you can use your right hand like this. If you're left-handed, you probably prefer to use your right hand so that you can do math with your left hand while looking at your right hand for this trick. If you're right-handed like me, use your left hand. That way, you can do math with your right hand while looking at your left hand. I'm right-handed, so in this video, I'll use my left hand. These are the angles corresponding to the fingers. From bottom, 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Here's the rule for sine. Square root of fingers below, the whole thing divided by 2. Let's take an example. Sine of 60 degrees. This finger is 60 degrees. Bend it in to get it out of the way. There are three fingers below it, so sine of 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. There, is it not easy? Now sine 45 degrees. This finger is 45 degrees. Bend it in and get it out of the way. How many fingers are below it, and what is sine 45 degrees? Hit pause and try to figure it out. Square root 2 over 2. Yes. Now do sine 90 degree. Hit pause and try to figure it out first. 90 degrees is this finger. Bend it in, get it out of the way. All four fingers are below it. Sine 90 degrees is root of 4 over 2 which simplifies to 2 over 2 equals 1. All right, now cosine. Cosine works the same way, but you count the fingers above. Cosine equals square root of fingers above, the whole thing divided by 2. Let's take cosine of 60 degrees. And this finger is 60 degrees. Bend it in and get out of the way. There's one finger above it. So cosine 60 degrees equals square root of 1 over 2, which simplifies to 1 half. Now you try cosine 45 degrees. Hit pause and try to figure it out first. Forty-five degrees is this finger. Bend it in. Two fingers above, so cosine forty-five degrees equals square root of two over two. Go ahead and try with other angles, and don't forget to simplify when you can. Now let's do tangent. It's a little different. Let's do tangent of thirty degrees. Tangent is equal to sine over cosine. This finger is. 30 degrees. There's one sine finger and three cosine fingers with square roots, of course. But we need sine over cosine, so flip our hand over. Don't forget square root. Tangent of 30 degrees equals square root of 1 over square root of 3, which equals 1 over square root of 3. If necessary, then you rationalize the fraction and you get root 3 over 3. So tangent is a little tricky in that you have to figure out the angle while the palm is facing you, and then you flip it over to compute the tangent. 
That's how you find sine, cosine, and tangent of special angles. Now for the other trig functions, derive from there. For example, secant is one over cosine. If you need secant of 30 degrees, first find cosine of 30 degrees and take one over that number, meaning take the reciprocal of that. Likewise, cosecant is one over sine and cotangent is one over tangent. So find the sine, find the tangent, and then take the reciprocal. All right, hope that helps. Any questions or comments, please put in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe for more contents. And thanks for watching. Bye.